Here we are again. I'm gonna continue with our breadboard. This is phase two here. Now we're gonna put this pattern of holes in, okay? So if we look at the details, a couple things to notice. The holes are 0 0.04 by 0 0.04. That's 40 thousandths by 40 thousandths. They're all the same, okay? We also have a note here. Distance between holes is 0.1, tenth of an inch up, down, and left, and right. That goes for every hole on the board. The dimensions here are giving you dimensions of uh, one particular hole, and we're going to base the pattern off of that one particular hole. So we will start by drawing this hole, and we will pattern it 5 up and 30 across. Then we will draw this hole, pattern it 2 up, five across, make a pattern of this pattern by five, then we will mirror the whole thing down here. So we'll get to that step by step. Okay, let's start by drawing uh, the two holes to start us off. Okay, so I noticed that this hole down here is uh, 80 thousandths of an inch from this bottom line to the bottom of the hole, 80 thousandths. And it's 180 thousandths from the left edge of the board to the, to the left edge of the hole. So 180 by 080, and the hole is 40 by 40. All right, got it. So I'm going to draw that. I'm going to select that top surface, Shift-S, and for normal. I'm going to zoom in. Now I don't want a center point rectangle. I want G for a corner rectangle. And I'm going to drop him right there, 0 0.040 by 0 0.040. Enter. Now I'm going to D for dimension to put our space. So from here down to here was 0 0.080. And from here to here was 0 0.180. 0 0.180. Enter. So that is, notice this object when completely black means it's fully defined in position and dimension. So We've got a dimension for the height here. We've got a dimension for the for the width here. We've got a position off the left edge, and we've got a position off the bottom, the top edge of the groove here. So this is perfect. Now we can make a pattern of this one hole. And the pattern goes in the sketch. Okay, So rectangular pattern, linear pattern right here. Click it. Next thing you do is select what you want to pattern. So we're going to select all four sides. One, two, three, four. Now default options. We're going to zoom way out. The default uh, looks like it's one object going up. Notice with the arrow I can position that, that column. So two going up and three going left and right. Okay. Well, we need 5 going up, so I'm going to double-click 2x here, make it say 5. Now notice I have 5, and I can even bring them closer with the arrow. And the distance between all holes was 0.1, so I'm going to change this to double-click 0.1. That sets my up and down. Now left to right, it says 3x, so I want to make this... 30, enter, and I'm going to make the distance 0.1. Now, it doesn't draw them all until you've said do it. So if you zoom out, it draws the first couple and then the last couple. And that distance looks good on the left, good on the right. So if you're happy with that, all these numbers, which I know I'm happy with, you click outside it to accept it, and it will render it out. There you go. And one thing I like to do is just kind of get in here and pull these dimensions away from each other because if they're overlapping too much, it just gets sloppy. And, you know, you might need to go in later and adjust this, uh, which you can. So it's just nice to, to move some of these so everything has its space. All right, so that is going to be sketch three. That is our first set of holes. Uh, now we need to... Pattern that pattern down here. Okay. You can use the mirror tool. Um, we will do that 
next. So let's accept that. Here we go. Okay, so we got our first row. Now let's look at our breadboard. We need to create this block of, of 10. So we're going to do the same thing. We're going to create a small hole, 040 by 040, right here. 780 up, 240 over. All right, so let's do that. 780 up, 240 over. G, we're going to select the surface. Shift S, N for normal. We are going to G to build a rectangle. Just going to put it roughly in the right position. 0.040, enter. 0.040, enter. It's the right size now. D for dimension, which is the who are here. So click here to here was 240, 240. I'm going to click here to the bottom at the top of the groove was 780, if I recall. Enter. So now we have a fully defined, correctly positioned rectangle. All right, so there you go. Got our dimensions. Move these out of the way. Now we need to make our linear pattern once again. So linear pattern. Select, 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 select. We need point one as a distance. We need 5x going this way. And we need 2 going this way. And we need the distance of point 1. And there we have our first brick of holes. Call it a brick. First block. We'll accept that once. There we go. That is looking good. So now we need five of these bricks. One, two, three, four, five. So there's a linear pattern again. Now I'm looking at the blueprint. <clears throat> I did not give a dimension for that. So we are going to just kind of estimate it. We just want it to look correct. We want the distance here to kind of match the distance there. Um, it's more about practicing these tools. So let's do the linear pattern again. Select linear pattern. I'm going to drag a box around all of these holes. Drag a box to select them all. All right. I want to do 5x. And now I'm going to zoom out a little bit. And I'm going to see where the last one ends up. I'm going to, going to drag the arrow to set the distance here. That looks pretty good. 0.6. Maybe 0.6. 1.04 yeah I'll just leave it 0. 0.6 looks good one of them going up right we don't want an extra going up so I'm gonna accept that accept it and there you go okay now we've got our row on top so that is looking good all right clean this up make sure everything has a little space to breathe here and the next thing we're going to do is we're going to use the mirror tool to mirror all these items. Just cleaning up my space. All right, so that's the pattern tool. Uh, we got a sketch for our block of holes, a sketch for the power rails. Let's name this one. Power rails. There we go. We'll call sketch three. Uh, we'll call it five by thirty. Five by thirty holes. So we just know what we're dealing with. All right. So that's it for this video. Next video, we're going to mirror these and extrude and finish this project off. See you there.